In this video, we'll learn some cool things about reference lines. We'll learn how to swap the reference line, and we'll learn how to change the field of reference line, but keeping the same format. Let's say your CEO would like to know which products have met the sales target. So the sales strategies can be adjusted as needed. In that case, we need to analyze three fields, product subcategory, sales, and sales target, so we can compare the sales and sales target for each product. This can be easily done by creating a bar graph and adding a reference line. So let's get started. Let's change the name of the sheet to sales. Let's change the sheet name to a question. Let's double click and highlight. We'll change it to a question, which product met the sales target. Let's hit OK. Let's drag product subcategory to rows and sales target to columns. It will automatically create a bar graph for us. If you want to change the graph, we can change it from the show me option. But for a given situation, we would just leave it as a bar graph. Let's sort the graph from ascending to descending. Let's format the axis for sales target since it's currency. Let's highlight and right click, select format, and it will open a formatting pane. Let's change the font to bold. And let's change the numbers to currency. Let's select currency custom. Drop the decimal places to zero. And let's change the display unit to be in thousands. Let's exit out of the formatting pane. Now let's format the axis for product subcategory or the Y axis. To format the axis, we can hover over any of the markers on the axis and right click to choose format. Let's change the font to bold to be consistent. Let's exit out of the formatting pane. Now let's drop the label for rows since it's already mentioned on the sheet name. Let's Right click and hide field labels. Let's drop sales to details so we can add the reference line. Now let's highlight the x axis, right click, and add the reference line. On this window, we can choose the field for reference line. Since we already have sales target on the x axis, let's select sales from the drop down menu. Since we want to compare sales and sales target for each product, let's calculate the average per cell. Let's change the label to value and let's format the line that's visible. Let's change the thickness and the color. Let's format these numbers so they're consistent. Let's right click and select format. Let's change the numbers to currency. Select currency custom, drop the decimal places to zero, and display units to be thousands. Now let's analyze. Tables met the sales target. In fact, far exceeded the sales target. However, telephones and communication did not meet the sales target. The graph is a little difficult to analyze just because of how the reference line look. Is there a way to switch the reference line to sales target and x-axis to sales? Yes, there is. Do we need to start all over? No, we just need to highlight, right click, and select swap reference line. Swapping the reference line is useful just to analyze the fields differently. It is also helpful in case you make mistake when you first start building the graph. Now let's discuss how to change the field in reference line, keeping the same format without starting all over. Let's say your CEO wants to identify if the high selling products are actually profitable. Let's duplicate the sheet first. Right click and select duplicate. Let's change the name of the sheet to profit and let's change the sheet name to high selling profitable products. Let's hit OK. 
Now to change the reference line, we need to select profit and drag it over to the reference line of sum. It will automatically change the reference line to profit. Now let's analyze. The office machines is profitable. However, tables is not profitable. Even though it's a high selling product, but it's not profitable. And this concludes our video. If you're looking for live customized Tableau training for your team of three or more, please visit us at Accelebrate.com or email us at info at or give us a call for a training quote.